Chris lie down on his back. He's going to keep his knees bent. And the first thing we're going to start focusing on is kind of closing off the pelvis a little bit. This is just going to help with the integration of the breath. So I'm going to use a block for him to gently squeeze with his knees. He's going to hold on to that. And I want him to imagine that the bones of the pelvis on the front of the pelvis, the anterior superior iliac spine, are gently drawing together. So there's not a ton of action there, but just a little bit. That's just going to help engage that pelvic floor. From here, I'm going to have him take his hands straight up so his palms face each other. And we're just going to start to work on some breath here. I want the shoulders to come down, and I want the shoulder blades to wrap around the back. So it's going to feel like the back is broadening a little bit. He's going to take a deep inhale through his nose. He's going to exhale out through his mouth, and he's going to feel his ribs drop down. He's going to maintain that position as he inhales through his nose. Exhale out your mouth, ribs drop down. I'm going to feel this, um, his back come closer to the floor. Big inhale through his nose. Exhale, his ribs are going to drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. He's going to keep his ribs down on this inhale. Nice. And exhale, 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 exhale. Great. Go ahead and relax there. Here, Chris is going to turn over onto his hands and knees. And then I'm going to have him lower down to his forearm. I'm going to walk his elbows pretty close to his knees. So we're going to kind of close the space between his shoulders and his hips. His sho shoulders are going to externally rotate. That means the shoulder is going to open up that way, which is going to help the shoulder blades slide down the back. And he's going to lift up just a little bit between the shoulder blades. That was perfect right there. From here, the shoulders are going to slide down towards the pelvis a little more, but he's going to keep the lift. Good. Just like that is great. He's going to start to feel a little work in his shoulders. The shoulders, the diaphragm, and the muscles of the stomach are all integrated, so it's okay if he feels work through there. He's going to start breathing through his nose. So he's going to take a deep inhale through his nose. Exhale out his nose. This is awesome. So he's going to take three more breaths just like this. Inhale, good. And you're going to see his belly is laterally expanding, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Two more breaths. Take one more breath there. From here, he's going to puff up between his shoulder blades a bit more, but he's going to keep this whole sense. So he's externally rotated. He's really loaded on his elbows. Lift up a little more from here. Nice. And you're going to come into a plank position. So you're going to take one foot back at a time. And I want you to really work on lifting through here. Lift through here. Awesome. This is good. So we're really forcing the serratus anterior to work here. Lift up a little more. Good. Keep this position as you breathe. He's going to really start to feel his abs fire. Lift up a little more. Nice. Two more breaths there, and he's going to really work on maintaining a zone of acquisition between the ribs and the pelvis. Last breath, lift up. Nice. And lower down. Perfect. From here, I'm going to have Chris lie on his back. And I'm going to use a chair. So I'm going to have him place his heels right on the chair. His knees are going to be bent. I'm going to this a little closer to him. So his legs are at about 90 degrees. And again, we're working on getting that sense that the pelvis is closed off a little bit. So I'm going to have him gently squeeze that block. And I want him to imagine that it's coming from the pelvic area, not from the knees. From here, his hands are going to come straight up. And he's going to work on dorsiflexing the feet, which means the toes pull back towards him a little bit. Awesome. This looks great. I want you to gently start to press the heels towards the chair just a little bit, just enough to get a little sense of hamstring activation. Take a deep inhale through your nose. As you exhale through your mouth, you're going to reach your hands towards me, but you're going to keep your head on the floor. Awesome. Take a deep inhale through your nose. This looks great. Exhale, reach towards me. Good. His ribs are coming down beautifully. His shoulders are going to be relaxed, even though he's reaching. Big inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Big inhale. One more just for good measure. I want you to keep your ribs down this time. Big inhale. There it is. Good. Exhale. And release down. All right. And finally, what I'm going to have Chris do is he's going to turn back over onto his hands and knees. This is going to look similar to the exercise I had you guys do for the first video. So we're working on the shoulders because they integrate with, again, the rib cage and the pelvis position. So I'm going to work on externally rotating. You're going to notice when he does that, external rotation is that way, the shoulders naturally slide down. From here, I want him to puff up between his shoulder blades. 
This is good. And then I want the index finger and thumb to firmly press down here. And then I want him to pretend like he's squeezing a block with his elbows. It's a whole bunch of things to remember. But he's going to start to feel his abs working a little bit and his shoulders may be working a little bit. He's going to round up a little more through here on his exhale. Exhale, round up a little more. Nice. He's going to keep this position. So this is a good zone of opposition between his ribs and his pelvis. He's going to come into a plank here. I want a big lift through here. I want a big rounding sensation. And I want four breaths. Lift up, lift up. Nice. You can exhale out your mouth. Imagine the rib cage drawing up towards the sky. Exhale, lift up, lift up, lift up. Nice. Two more breaths. Big inhale. Keep the index finger and thumbs down. Keep that sense of squeezing in. Yes. Lift, 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 lift. Good. One more breath. Lift, 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 lift. Exhale, lower to your knees for me, please. And from here, I'm going to have an exhale and sit back into a child's pose. His toes are going to gently point. Good. His hips are going to sit back. He's going to rest his forehead on the ground. He's going to just take a deep inhale through his nose. Nice. Exhale out his nose. And again, I'm going to look for expansion through the lateral part of the stomach. Big inhale, nice. Exhale. Two more breaths. This looks great. and relax and come on up. Thank you everybody for joining me and thank you Chris for agreeing to be a wonderful prop. I hope that that made sense to you guys. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me. And remember just spending five to 10 minutes of breathing and core work a day can make a huge difference in terms of your efficiency while running. Thank you again. That's pretty good.